Hey guys, I'm back here with a 98 Chevy Lumina and today I will be showing you guys how to change the back brakes and these are old uh, drum brakes, they're not rotor brakes so it's slightly different than your average brake change. To do this you're going to need obviously your lug nut wrench to take the tires off a jack and jack stands to lift up the car. You're also going to need brake cleaner. Uh, you're also going to need your new brake pads here and a replacement drum if you've never had this done before. So here I have two replacement drums and two replacement pad sets and that should pretty much be it. So let's go ahead and get started here. I've already lifted up the car and loosened up the lug nuts, so just take off the lug nuts and take the tire off. Alright, so here we go, the tire is off now. Um, now this, you should be able to either just wiggle it out or use something like your lug nut wrench and just hit it a few times. And now it should be loose and you should be able to take this off. All right, once you've taken this off, you'll notice a bunch of powder in here, so use some brake cleaner and clean this stuff off. All right, so there you can see Quite a bit of dirt and grime came out of here. Um, now at this point, we should be able to take the pads off. Next, you'll see these bars here on the side, and they're gonna be in these holes. So just use a screwdriver or something like that and get under there and pry up so that they come out of these holes. Next you will need pliers to get this spring uh, taken off so you just grab it, bring it up and unsnap it. Once you have done that, your pad should be fairly loose. So if you got this loose like I said before, pretty much should be able to take this whole thing out. And then we'll want to clean off this stuff with the brake cleaner. So here is the other one coming off. So here we go, here's the old pad, the old pads. And they go like that. And we'll go ahead and grab our new pads and put them in place here. Now once you have this out, you may want to take this bar out. And this is clamped on right here, so just lift it up. And you should be able to get that loose, or at least swivel it out like this so that you can put the pads in. Alright, so the first thing you want to do after you've moved this back is latch this pad onto that and then move it up here and always remember to stay behind this bar because this bar is going to clamp it down all right so here you can see i've put the pad in it's clicked in there this bar here is going it's supposed to go under the spring down here and then over here on the sides but before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and set this other pad in place and secure it in place as well. 
All right, so I was doing the other side and I really didn't know what I was doing, but now I do. So here we are on the other side and all you need is the drum, the brake pads or the brake shoes, a metal brush, small pliers, brake cleaner, and your lug nut wrench. And let me show you here. how to do it quickly. So first off, as I said before, clean it off with brake fluid just so it's not as messy. Next, get your uh, lug nut wrench, which usually has a prying side, or if not, get a screwdriver or something like that, a flathead screwdriver, and then just pry on that side, pry on this side, Once you've done that, you can go up here, and then you can take this spring off. You can grab it back here and just pull it, take this off, like that. So at this point you can use the shoe here and just push up, and the shoe should actually just come off at this point. This should be able to come off, and this side should come off easily as well. This side here has your emergency brake. So this is the side that you need to be careful with because it latches on up here. So I suggest you open up this even further like that to avoid damaging anything over here. So right, that there we go. just has a little hook right there that grabs onto the shoe. And as you can see there, that's just metal. So the whole pad was rubbed away. And this side here should be similar. And we should be able to take this stuff out too. So this part here, and this part that we can reuse, and this should be able to come out as well. And then you'll have this part in there as well. So clean off these little parts that fell out. The shoes can be thrown away and replaced. Additionally, You'll want to spray your new shoes and the drum as well. So I suggest you just place it here. Spray it down really fast. And do it with both of them. And do it with the drum as well. At this point, you'll want to use your brush and your brake cleaner and just clean everything off back here. Alright, now after cleaning that, we can go ahead and put this back on and the pads are both identical so it doesn't matter which way it goes all right so you'll want to release this bar so you get this bar here set this in place back here behind your emergency brake and with these going towards the inside of the car Back there you can see the configuration of this bar here and the wire, or the uh, spring I mean. So the spring needs to be going closer to the tire and the bar goes behind that piece there. So it goes from that side to that side. 
and then this hook here goes into this hole on the shoe and once you've done that once you have this in the shoe you pull on this bar so that you can get this so that you can get that bar over the brake and then basically just push the pad up until this piece up here touches this but at the same time back here you need to make sure or down here I mean down here you need to make sure the pad is actually going in as well. Push the pad in there and make sure the bottom over here is touching this metal piece Now at this point we can get this other shoe in the same way. You just pull on the bar, line it up in here. Remember to clean your other parts. Alright, so compress this all the way and then get this with this side that curves down and that side goes in the back so over here it should line up right there in place then get these two pieces and get the side that's longer to go outside of this like that and then use this hand to pick this up and just slide this piece in here. And as you're doing it, you need to line this piece with the hole up here on the shoe so that that can go in as you're putting that in. So that will go in right there. You might need to push this just a little like that and then this should fall in place there all right so there we go and then you need this end of the lug nut wrench and right here you can see this little uh, gear thing and you just need to turn this and expand it. So you're using this and going like this to turn the gears here. And once it's expanded enough, like at this point that should be enough. Now we need to worry about these bars here on the sides and we need to get them in these holes here on the sides. So to do that you can just push on one side and get that in and then the other side is going to be the difficult side. So push this side towards the other side and then just use your fingers to pull on this bar. So now that there's enough tension there, you get this spring and you put this end here and then you get your pliers, grab it there and snap it in place here. So like that and then just add more tension 
until it starts clicking. So there it just started clicking. That should be enough tension there. All right, now after you have added tension, after putting the spring back on, you should be able to put your drum in place. And remember to spray this with brake cleaner before you put it on. Simply line it up. And you still should be able to turn it. All right, now at this point, you just put your tire back on and your hubcaps and you're done. So, so as always with your tire, hand tighten first and then crisscross. And once you've tightened them enough, lower the car and tighten them some more. So that is it. Then if you have hubcaps, well, put your hubcap back on. So that is it for my tutorial on how to replace the brakes and drums on a 1998 Chevy Lumina. If you guys found this video helpful or informative, please remember to like, comment, favorite, or share the video. Consider subscribing as well for future tutorials such as this one and consider checking out some of the sponsors in the description below. But anyways, as always, thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time.